Okay, so we're going to make a simulation solid for a Regofix holder, a cat style holder for the power grip. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to File, Import, and I will bring in one of the remaining step files that I downloaded from their website. And when it comes in, you'll see that um, the holder is aligned along X. So we need to change that. So what I need to do here first is right click and say copy. And we're going to rotate. And we're going to move. And we're going to rotate about the Y axis 90 degrees. So that will bring our holder aligned with the spindle Z axis. And the positioning where this interface is with the spindle, the milling spindle itself on the machine, is correct. It's at the, the bottom of the taper. So now uh, what I want to do is um, basically put a location here at the end where I can have the collets appear. And what I'm going to do is, since the orientation of my work plane is already correct, I'm just going to use the translate command. And I'm going to digitize here where you can see the, the face and you can see the mouse indicate that I'm going to digitize on the center. So when I click there, the work plane appears right at the um, face, the center of the face of this tool holder. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a holder adapter for the collet, but I'm also going to just, you know, if I'm lazy or the programmer's lazy or whatever, um, we can just put the, uh, the actual tool here without the collet, which, um, you know, if we were to measure from the face of this holder to the tip of the collet for the total overhang of the tool, you know, that would be fine. We wouldn't get the collision checking of the collet itself, but uh, I'm going to make both of them here. And then now that I have that, I can come to File, Save As, and we can come here to Holder Files, and we're just going to save that into the folder that I just created. So now what I'm going to do is go to Machine Setup, and, you know, I'm just going to bring in any old machine here, a vertical machine. That's a Cat 40. I'm not sure if the highest VF3 is a Cat 40, but it was conveniently located, so I'm going to say OK to that. I'm going to go to Tool Assemblies, right-click, and say Add Adaptive Item. Now here, I am going to scroll down to Regofix, Power Grip, and I, these were in my Steep Taper Cat folder, and it was uh, this one. So if we look at the preview, yep, there it is. I'm going to say Open, and now you'll see that the taper appears, the holder appears where it's supposed to be. And this looks actually pretty good for that spindle, so maybe it's a Cat 40. I don't know. Um, so now we want to see the collet appear here. So let's first actually just create a tool. I'm going to create a milling tool. If I create a milling tool, you see the tool appears exactly at the face, center face of that holder. <clears throat> so that looks good. But uh, we don't want to load the tool here. What we want to do is actually add another adaptive item. Because we created a TA and an HA for a holder adapter and a tool adapter position, we can come and load an actual collet. Now looking at this file, this is a 43, 40, 407, and then a, a 10. And this is how they do their nomenclature. The 10 is the size of the collet. So I have the five different collet sizes already made. So when I click on the 10, it should appear right there. There it is. And that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to say OK. And on here, I create a milling tool. So. On the 10 series, eh, this is probably looking pretty good, a 4 millimeter end mill. Looks like it would probably fit in this holder, no problem. So I'm going to say OK, and we can see our complete tool assembly is built and ready for programming and simulation and accurate collision checking.